We explore Blackwell Island RV Resort, Cataldo Mission, the oldest in the state, and some of the surrounding areas. Stay tuned. Blackwell Island Resort is a fairly large RV resort uh, located right on the water and it is beautiful. Plenty of room. Coeur d'Alene is the tribal name given by the French traders in the 18th or 19th century. It means part of the owl, A-W-L, which is a reference to, about their trading skills. There is a very nice casino about 30 minutes from Blackwell's. And this area is known for its luxurious lakeside, lakeside lifestyle. We talked to one gentleman who tried, who was out uh, kayaking, and he said that it was quite a workout with the wind and the current, so we didn't go kayaking. The town started out as Fort Sherman. Uh, prospectors and miners came in search of silver and gold, then the timber boom in the 1920s. And today, their main source of income is tourism. If you're looking for a place to eat, there are no shortages of choices. Um, there is a dock right by Blackwell's. It's called Cedars Floating Restaurant which has good reviews. We were unable to get reservations and it looked a bit formal for us too. So we opted for some burgers at Hudson's Hamburgers, which is famous on its own right. And they were very good. So the town's cool, um, hiking around it and seeing the sights and there's a bunch of little shops and um, lots of areas. We did a little bit of biking in town, but we had to go across the bridge with the bikes to get there. and. Um, Let's just say that wasn't the funnest part, so we didn't do that but like one time because there's so the traffic is so bad. But gorgeous area, definitely had fun. Would love to go back in that area. Um, I'm not sure we'd stay at Blackwell's again. I'd like to explore one of their RV parks. Um, maybe someplace we could bike from instead of Blackwell's, which was hard to get with the biking, but gorgeous area. We also visited the Cataldo Mission. It was constructed in the 1850s. It is a Baroque style built by the Catholic missionaries and members of the Cordillon tribe. It is the oldest standing building in Idaho and the oldest surviving mission church in the Pacific Northwest. We also saw um, two young bull mooses while we were there out in the woods. There's a little bit of uh, hiking you can do around it. Gorgeous, definitely worth visiting.
Visit West Glacier National Park. Stay tuned. 